I sat down and watched Brisbane on uh, yesterday. I've, I've not been sold completely on them. That, that pressure they brought, the heat and pressure they brought and Carlton failed, the test, yeah. was as good as I've seen from them for a yeah. long, long time. Well, the narrative all week's been there's a lot of positives out of that loss to Richmond and the MCG. Um, so I think they came in with great confidence from their coach and I think this is what he, he uh, impressed upon them and they did that. They brought the heat early and... You could argue Carlton made some horrible unforced errors, but I think that was perceived pressure because um, Brisbane's pressure and heat was just so good early, Rui. Really. Yeah, and the other part of the game where they have been struggling is, is the ball movement side of things as well, and, and that was back yeah. on the weekend. They just look far more assertive with the footy, uh, more sure of themselves is the way I would put it. Yeah, well, it was good times in the first half against Richmond, wasn't there? But they, they just sort of probably lost a bit of confidence. But it was on display again, which was good to see because I think this is when the Lions are up and about and playing their best football yeah, they're able to move the ball from one end of the ground to the other, which was very impressive. I mean, all parts, they were ticking all parts, and I know it came a bit unravelled a little bit towards the end, but um, they did it without really dominant key forwards. Hipworth, was, Hipwood was OK. But again, day was better, Gaz. He, yeah, he had two yeah. goals in six weeks. He kicked four goals, yep. 16 disposals, so I thought that was better. Yep. Yeah, he needed to, because he's probably feeling the pressure of the contract situation and the talk. Where Brisbane needs to be better, he's still understanding game... The, the time of the game. Game management, 57 points up, coming out of three-quarter time. This is not a game, this is not a time of the game, guys, where you need to go for these millionaire kicks. So, just play the percentages here. So, Lockie Neal had a brilliant game. He fed off uh, Oscar McInerney all day long, but this is not a time when you need to go back into the corridor. Take the easy option. Take it out wide. If it gets knocked out of bounds, well, so be it. Look at the clock there. Yeah. So, Carlton go on to kick the next six goals <laughs> and give them a sniff, and all of a sudden there were some heart flutters late in that last quarter. Yeah, no, that's a good point. So, that's the learning to come out of it. But the good news for Brisbane supporters, I think, is that footy stacks up at finals level. That, that, and, and for Carlton supporters, you got a great test and yep. they failed it. Maybe they get another opportunity. Well, they do. Saturday night, they get it mm. against Melbourne at the MCG.